Welcome back everybody to another video. Today I have, I have a minivan. We got the Kia Carnival, so you can't have any type of minivan review without including the Toyota Sienna, right? So behind me is a 2021 Toyota Sienna in the limited trim level. And of course, this is only offered as a hybrid. There is no regular Sienna. There's only a hybrid powertrain. So let's check it out and see this extremely efficient minivan. Is it worth your time? Toyota Sienna is to one of Toyota's most important cars because, I mean, a lot of families in America use the Toyota Sienna for their road trips as a daily driver, so it's important that Toyota gets this right, which, in my opinion, I think they really have. So let's take an exterior look at it. This one is a limited finish in this beautiful black metallic paint. It stickers for right around $51,000 before any type of market adjustment. And of course, here at Nally Toyota of Union City, they'll get you a good deal. So let's check out the exterior. Let's check out the interior. Let's take it for a drive and see. Has Toyota killed it with this new hybrid Sienna? Coming up to the front of the Toyota Sienna, of course you have LED headlights. Toyota has been really uh, pushing this in the industry. They offer LED headlights as standard on almost all their vehicles. Um, of course, this is all black paint because you don't need this. It is a hybrid, so you don't need a ton of cooling. But under this blue accented emblem is the radar for the adaptive cruise control system. Here, of course, you can see Toyota's new design language with the large grille at the bottom. You do have LED fog lights down there. And actually, a really interesting addition is uh, there's a little lip right here, which is that's pretty cool. But uh, moving off to the wheels, of course, you have these beautiful alloy wheels wrapped in Bridgestone rubber. Now these are a 18 inch design wrapped in 60 series rubber, 235 width. So they'll give you a lot of protection. Uh, I'm sure the road noise will be very controlled. It'll give you a great ride. Of course you have a hybrid badge just to let everybody know that you are driving a hybrid Sienna. Um, you do have some LED indicator lights on the side. Of course these have blind spot monitoring inside. Now this does have a uh, Toyota's latest safety sense system because that's what Toyota markets really is a safe, reliable, family-friendly, luxurious package, which I think the Sienna definitely is. Now, of course, you have the proximity system on the door here, the sensors behind, with a locking area right there. We'll go to all that in a minute. Stop that beeping. You have another little pad right here, and of course, these are sliding doors, but we'll get out to all that when we go in the interior. Here you have a nice little window with an integrated uh, rail for the door to come out. And right there is your fuel door, of course, more of those rims. Now, the back is a very dramatic design for Toyota. I mean, you can see those taillights. They stick out a good bit, kind of reminding me kind of what Lexus does. But you can see they're LED accented. You have this nice little uh, fake little duct thing right there. You have Sienna spelled out, of course, that blue accented Toyota logo, just to let everybody know. Again, this is a hybrid. At the bottom there, you do have integrated parking sensors. All nice and good. Here you have your uh, wiper blade for the back. But overall, looking at the back of the new Toyota Sienna, I think they've really made it very aggressive, very solid. I mean, just looking at the side profile, you don't associate this type of design with a minivan, but Toyota really has brought it into the Toyota Sienna. It looks very athletic, very nice, but it, while still not compromising any of the qualities of a normal minivan. So let's go ahead, let's get an exhaust note and uh, see what your minivan sounds like. All I'm gonna say about that exhaust note is, it's interesting. I mean, let's check out what it's coming from under the hood, see what Toyota's hybrid synergy system is for the Toyota Sienna, and check it out under the hood. So under this quite small hood of the Toyota Sienna is a 2.5 liter four cylinder, no turbo, just naturally aspirated, running on the Atkinson cycle with Toyota's hybrid synergy system. Pumping right around 245 combined horsepower with the electric motors and the engine itself. Now, Toyota is one of the first to put a hybrid system in their minivan, um, exclusive hybrid system. They are the first to only offer a hybrid powertrain. 
Now, the Chrysler Pacifica does offer a option for their electric system, but Toyota only offers this car as a hybrid, which applauds to them because this gets 36 miles per gallon city and 36 miles per gallon highway from this engine. This is powering a minivan that people take on road trips and use as a daily driver for their families. Now, this gets almost the same gas mileage as that Toyota Corolla that's sitting over there, which is, I mean, that's just absolutely jaw-dropping because it might be a little sluggish. We'll get into the drive and see, exa see exactly how it is, but I mean, if it's enough for a minivan, I am very impressed with the gas mileage of this motor. Now, of course, the main part of a minivan is the interior. So here's the key for the new Toyota Sienna. Now you have the blue accented logo again because it's a hybrid. You have lock, unlock, power doors, you have your trunk release, panic button, everything like that. But this specific key is a proximity key system so you can just leave it in your pocket and walk up to the door itself. Now to unlock it, or let's go ahead and lock it. The powers do electrically fold. A lot of Toyotas do that, I really appreciate that. But again, Put your hand behind here, opens right up, revealing a very nice door panel. I'm actually quite happy to say. It's all soft touch padded up here. You have a nice little door handle, pocket. This is all very soft leather. Uh, this gray interior is very interesting, but we'll go all that in a minute. You have a nice you know, pocket, you can put some stuff in there. These door switches are very nicely finished. This is almost Lexus quality. I mean, Lexus doesn't offer a minivan, but if they did, it'd be pretty close to the Sienna. Now you have your little joystick controller for your mirrors. You have automatic folding, of course, as you like you saw. Uh, you have your memory seats, I'm glad. The door pockets are very plentiful. I mean, there's plenty of space in there for everything, really. Um, I really like this, again, this trim right here. There's a lot more of that in the cabin. But cold and dark, the Toyota Sienna's cabin is a very nice place to spend time. Let's close the door, very solid, of course. Um, you know, coming into the steering wheel, this is all cold and dark. Let's go ahead and start this up with the power button right here. Put on the brake. So you may be asking me, I don't hear anything. Where's the engine note? This has an engine, why isn't it starting? It's not fully electric. Well, the engine's not gonna start when you first start this car. I mean, you can see it says ready in the gauge cluster right there. That is because uh, it's hybrid, so it starts in an EV mode. Now, looking at the gauge cluster here, it's of course very nice. There's no tachometer, this is a hybrid. You have your charge, energy, power gauge over there. You have a nice little multi-function display in the middle. You can see your digital speed. Your Toyota safety sense information, you can see your audio controls, energy monitor, some settings for your blind spot control, everything like that. You have your nice stocks here, auto headlights, uh, you have your uh, mirror controls right over there. C hopping out to the steering wheel, I love this perforated leather that's on the steering wheel, it's very, very nice. The leather uh, has a very nice grain to it, uh, it's very soft, very supple, very Lexus-like. But um, overall, I really like the design of this steering wheel. The buttons feel very clicky, very nice. Um, you do have all your Toyota Safety Sense controls over there. Um, audio controls, voice command, everything like that. Again, I really like the perforated controls right there. Down there, you do have all your controls for your auto high beams, your gas door, your power door controls, traction control, everything like that. You do have a 120 volt AC outlet in the back, which we'll check out in a minute, but the controls for that are right there. And looking over the dashboard, it's very low. Um, you can actually see very easily out of it. I mean, this is exactly where, how I see out of this car. Let's adjust it. You can see a little bit better. I mean, you can see everything. You barely see the hood. You see a little bit. This is really nice just to give you a little bit of angle. But overall, yeah, very, very nice. Here you have a uh, Toyota's Entune system. It is flickering just because of the camera refresh rate. I really like how it's flanked by these hard buttons. Of course, this has uh, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, everything like that. You do have an integrated map display from Toyota. It's very nice. You have pinch to zoom. You can. It's very responsive. Um, no problems with that at all. Of course, you have Bluetooth, everything like that um, that you would expect. It's a very nice screen, 8-inch screen. Um, you know, just looking outside, looks very great. Uh, awesome. Actually, this may be a 9-inch screen. I think it's an 8-inch screen, but it's very nicely integrated 8-inch screen. It makes it look a little bit larger than it actually is. Now, here you do have some vents right there. You have your climate controllers right there. Of course, low, you can see all that right there. Now... You do have heated and cooled seats right there on both sides for the front passengers. Of course, I'm running the cooled seats. It is summer here. It's pretty hot. Now, let's move the shifter out of the way. You do have a USB, which is a very interesting position right there. You have a wireless charging mat for any Qi uh, wireless charging compatible phones, iPhones, Samsungs, everything like that is included. Here's your shifter. I really like how it's a mechanical shifter instead of like the buttons and stuff that the Odyssey is doing. You just move it down. You have an S mode, down for down, up for up. Um, I mean, unless you're going to go all race car mode in your minivan but looking at your back of camera do you have you have nice trajectory lines everything like that 
all nice and good. Um, going to the park right here, down here you do have your electronic parking brake, which is automatic if you whenever you put it in park. Uh, drive modes here, you do have, um, you can see kind of right there, you have eco, normal, sport, I mean nothing crazy, but at least they have it. EV mode right here, um, it's unavailable right now just because the hybrid battery is low, but you do have that, you have a brake hold system. Here you do have a, a very nice trim for your console, Here, you, here's your cup holders right there. Um, right here you have all your space in there you have a USB-C, USB-A, everything like that looks really nice I absolutely love it you have plentiful amounts of storage down there you have another 12 volt some you know you can store like purses and things like that uh, the seats themselves are very very supportive very very comfortable you can see exactly how plush they are um, here you have some charging for the rear seat passengers now this is a very very well built center console i mean there's so much storage in there but yeah the seats vented heated as i said um very comfortable you have plentiful amounts of storage across the dashboard i absolutely love it uh this one is a standard size moonroof but you do have the very very large screen back there which we'll check out in a minute but um overall the front seats of the toyota sienna is not a bad place to spend time at all now a cool thing with the toyota sienna is you can actually wave your foot down here see if it wants to cooperate let me see if I can get this to work okay so I have locked up the car I mean that's what I do on this review is see exactly real world how it is so I guess you put your foot under here this is not wanting to work I don't know if it's maybe just something I'm doing Let's see okay so for a third time once you have the key near it you do open it like this and the door will open right up. Let's see. So after messing with the system for a few minutes, I found out exactly how to do it. So you wave your foot under here with the key near it, and it should, there we go, open right up to reveal your very nice cabin. It's huge and spacious. And regarding that door, there's nothing wrong with the car. That's just me, but I like to leave stuff like that in the video just to add some humor to it. But let's put the seat down and get it all situated. All right, so let's go ahead and climb into the interior of this Toyota Sienna. Um, again, I really like this gray leather. It's very nice, but you do have a button right here to close it right up. Now, these seats are not all the way back, nor are they all the way front. They're kind of like in the middle. But um, you do have your screen right there. You watch some nice movies. It's actually quite large. I mean, it's as larger than I've seen in the Honda Odyssey. You do have a third zone clamp control vent, sunshades, a speaker right there, door control, a very interesting looking handle right there. But I do like the stadium seating that this uh, Toyota Sienna has. I mean, looking from my uh, view, you can see right over the windshield is just great. You can really see it right there, how the rear seats are actually higher than the front, so you can kind of get a commanding view over. But uh, down there you do have your uh, AC controls, HDMI. Remember I told you about that household outlet? That is right there. There's your cup holders. Again, those two USB ports. Now, something interesting with the Toyota Sienna is let's go ahead and uh, take the seat and I'm gonna back it up and show you a very interesting feature. So, you have this up. Now, you pull this lever right here and let me see if I can get it up high enough. There's an ottoman. So you can, I don't know, chill out, you know, watch a movie. It's not a bad place to have a road trip, you know? Just have an ottoman out, there's your TV, watch a movie, got the window, your devices stay connected. I mean, hey, this is, this is a way to road trip, isn't it? But um, again, the seats are very comfortable. You do have an armrest right here, all very comfortable. You have a little integrated cup holder right here. Again, that same ottoman, you can see it's down there. It's very, very comfortable in here. Now, I'm not gonna climb into the third row too far, but I will give you exactly how the legroom is. Um, legroom is decent. Now, this seat is not all the way forward, but I mean, you can see it's a little tight. But uh, here you do have a USB A, USB C, your volume controls, and a headphone jack. Again, for that TV, if you want to plug in, again, same thing on the other side. You also have some sunshades right here, but it is actually it is decently tight back here. I mean, that seat's all the way back, so that's why I said that's not exactly how the legroom is. Again, I put that one back so I could have space for that ottoman. But overall, this Sienna yeah, is not a terrible interior space. It's almost like a living room, honestly. I mean, you have this recliner chair right here. I can, it's not a bad place to spend time whatsoever. Okay, there's that power door. And yeah, that's the interior of the Sienna. Let's take it for a drive. Alrighty, so cold and dark in the Sienna. Again, power, 
the engine is not gonna start. You hear that Toyota chime, but uh, let's try on some AC. It is hot in here. This Sienna is trying to cook me alive. It is hot in here. But let's go and get that up. Just enough sure you guys can still hear me. Again, there's that screen. Let's see, auto. All right. Okay, I think we have everything situated. Let's take a first ride. So we're gonna start out in the eco mode because this is an efficient minivan. Okay, now this is just... All right, I'm gonna leave that all in the video. Why not? Add some humor, right? All right, so we're in the eco mode of this 2021 Toyota Sienna. Pretty smooth. It's actually very smooth. Again, as I said in the video, I mean, I absolutely love this interior. There's, I don't have any issues with this interior whatsoever, actually. Um, let's go ahead and climb over here. It's in still in the EV mode. It's very zippy, actually. I'm actually very impressed with exactly how zippy it is. Um, you know, just taking it around right here, navigating through parking lot at parking lot speeds. I'm not gonna go too excessive here, but let's see. All right, I'm gonna put it into its normal driving mode because I'm getting a little tired of eco mode. There's not plenty enough power. Um, the EV torque makes it pretty zippy, actually. Um, trying to get out of this parking lot. Uh, let's see. Yeah, normal mode, I mean, anybody who calls this thing really sluggish, I really don't agree with it at all. Um, personally, I think this thing actually has a good bit of electric torque with it, which is mainly, you know, the engine itself is not that powerful. It's a regular 2.5 liter naturally aspirated four cylinder. But with that electric torque from those electric system, that electric hybrid system, I mean, it's fine, really. Um, it really is fine. So let's go ahead and uh, take this out on a road right here. All right, let's see what we can do. Can go out here. So I'm actually gonna leave it in its normal mode for now. And then, Very interesting. Right, this is intersection's little block, so we're just gonna let's keep it in here for now. Let's pop into the sport mode, just drive around in sport mode. Oh yeah, wow, this is a minivan. I mean, I, that was some serious electric torque right there. I mean, it doesn't sound very good, but I don't know how many minivan race car drivers there are, so I think you're good there. Um, but yeah, the Toyota Sienna is driving around here. I mean, we'll find. A, I'm gonna find a little empty spot where I can show you guys some acceleration clips. This is just a tight parking lot, so I'm gonna try and get away from these cars a little bit. All right, let's see if I can find a place for you guys. Okay, let's see. So, I mean, if you, as you guys can see, the electric torque is, I'm, I'm not even noticing it, really. I have no big issues with this electric uh, or engine, this hybrid system that a Toyota has put. It's actually, okay, now I found a good little place for us to do a little acceleration. So we're gonna leave it in its sport mode. Uh, let's see, here. I'm not gonna mash it because I don't wanna spin any tires, but we'll do a good bit. Wow. That is, this is decent. That's that's pretty good. I mean, you do have that little electric CVT wine, but we'll do that one more time in its normal mode just to compare exactly how it is. I'm gonna go back down there and do it one more little. We'll do it this way. Um, I mean, it's so the turning modulation is so easy. I I like it. Uh, we'll line up here again, down th on throttle again very easy the electric torque comes on very instantly um, yeah it's very nice alrighty so let's pop it in its eco mode and just cruise around for a little bit bring it back up front but I hope you guys enjoyed that little acceleration clip so it's just mainly for minivan shoppers thinking that just because this is a baby four-cylinder that it's a little bit sluggish I don't I don't think so um, from my personal testing uh, I, I I mean it's getting up to speed just fine. So maybe a little bit of uh, interstate, you know, taking over people on the interstate might be a little bit. Uh, you might have to go a little bit further down in the pedal travel just to get some power out of this thing. 
but um, you know, just cruising around the city, um, it's it's very smooth compared to a lot of its V6 competition. Um, it doesn't have that type of jerkiness that some of the V6s in this segment have, uh, Kia Carnival being one of them. But I mean, just cruising around, the steering weight is very light, very effortless. This car's very effortless to see out of, very effortless to drive. The only main issue with this car is it does have a little bit of a drone, a little bit of a four-cylinder drone with it. But I mean, just sitting here, the interior is very comfortable. These armrests are comfortable. Just from a driving perspective, I can see out very easily. These headrests support uh, very good. The seat support is great. The armrests are perfectly even for me and able to reach the screen very easily. So for somebody like me, but I wouldn't be driving a minivan. I guarantee that. Um, maybe something like that but would be better. Uh, minivan is not really for somebody like me, but the backup camera is very big. I wish the resolution was a little bit better on the camera but it gets the job done perfectly fine but yeah overall I'm I'm pretty happy with this Toyota Sienna let's wrap up this review this up my video on this 2021 Toyota Sienna limited again a huge thank you to Ethan Perez here at Toyota Nally Toyota here in Union City if you want to buy any new Toyota or any used product that they have make sure you check them out all their information will be in the description below but again, I'm very happy with this 2021 Toyota Sienna. It's a great car. I absolutely am blown away by exactly how well that hybrid powertrain really performs. But again, check it out in the description below. I'll catch you guys in that next video.